Shannon, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you I for me. am super excited to have you today. I, I, I don't know if you know this, you probably do, but you're such a huge inspiration to me and to other people in the real estate business. So thank you. I'm super excited for everybody to learn more about how you built your business through real estate. And most of your business comes from Instagram and from your sphere, right? So I'm excited for everybody to hear more about that. Um, but to start off, I would love for you to tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started in the real estate business. Yes. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor. Yep. Um, for those of you know, those listening that don't know me, my name is Shannon Gillette. I'm a realtor and team leader. I lead one of the top 20 real estate teams here in the Phoenix Southeast Valley. And most of our business comes from Instagram and YouTube. Yep. So it's been, it's been a, a crazy journey. Yep. That's awesome. So how did you get started like in the real estate business? What's your, tell us about your story. <laughs> well, I like to say I barely graduated from high school and um, in this business, it's not the smartest person that wins. It's the right. most consistent and yep. disciplined that that wins, right? So yep. um, as long as you're consistent every day, you can really build an incredible business. And that's really yep. what I've done is just have worked hard, you know, right out of high school, I started leasing apartments, did that wow. for several years, and really developed this love for real estate and helping yep. people find their home. And when I was 23 years old, I sold my first home, um, I was in new home sales. Yep. So I sold new homes for eight years during the recession, I was one of the top new home sales consultants in the entire country. Yep. Um, but I'm also a mom of three young kids and yeah. selling new homes, you're basically, you know, stuck in that office until seven o'clock at night, you know, yep. weekends, everything. I, when my oldest son took his first steps, I, I got on a video as I was sitting in my sales office. So instead of driving to work crying, yep. I decided to take the plunge, leave, you know, more of a guaranteed income to jump into resale. And it was yep. very scary because what is the stat? 87% of realtors fail within the yep. first five years, Absolutely. Um, but started in, in resale in 2015. And, and here I am today. That is amazing. I love that. So we have something in common. I know we were just talking about this. Um, so I was 23 when I started in the business. And back then, I feel like there wasn't a lot of people in their 20s. Now there is. Yeah, I agree. Right. Yeah. So did you ever feel that being in your 20s, you got any pushback or people looked at you differently? I do. I was always a little embarrassed, right? Because I didn't go to college. Yep. And college was such a big deal yep. back then, you yeah. know. But now I love that. Like you can you could build a successful career yeah. without going to college. And I feel like the four years leasing apartments, I learned more about sales and overcoming objections and and all the things that you need to be successful during yep. that time that I maybe wouldn't have learned that in college. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. Um, so going back to your story, I really want to know, I'm curious, what drives you? Like I could tell just by your success that you're a person that's relentless, you don't give up, you keep going. But is it is was it like your parents or is it mentor or a mentor or coach or podcast or what is it that keeps you going. Thank you. You know, that's, that's a, a compliment, right? Because <laughs> I am um, very disciplined and I was raised by a single mom. We didn't have much growing oh. up. And, and I think deep down inside, I know that I just want more for my life. I want more for my family okay. and I have to work hard. I have to sacrifice. I have to get up earlier than I want to get up. I can't be up to date on all yep. the latest TV shows. I don't have time right. to, you know, watch Netflix, things like that. Yep. So sacrifice, working hard and, and being consistent on those days yeah. where I don't feel like getting in front of the camera and filming content, um, you know, just no excuses and, yep. and just working hard and being very disciplined with my schedule because right. I am a mom, I am a wife, like, um, so being, being able to kind of try to balance right. running a successful real estate team, but also being present for my family yep. can be very difficult. That is very difficult. Yeah. I've always wondered how do these women do it? You yeah. know what I mean? Like being in the business since I was 23, I didn't have my son until I was 37. Mm -hmm. I was always scared to bring in a child into this crazy business, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think that a lot of moms can relate or if they're not moms, right? I think that that's just, it just goes to show that you could have a successful real estate business in still have your family and your yeah, and your a lot of my success, like, as I mentioned, comes from 
Instagram and YouTube. Right. And starting with Instagram was building my personal brand. So yep. I like to tell agents or lenders or anybody yep. trying to build a brand on social media, what what are the top four most important things in your life? Yep. And use those things to build your brand on social media. So for me, you know, we're, we're really involved in our church. I'm a yep. mom. I'm a wife. We like to travel. I sell real estate. So yep. if you follow me on Instagram, you should know a lot about yep. my life. Like we have a lizard and dogs and letting people in yep. on my daily life. So leaning into yeah. your brand, I think some moms might yep. not want to share that they're a mom because they might think clients will judge them or whatever, you know, right. if they're at their kid's <laughs> soccer game on a Saturday. But just sharing who you are as a yep. person, you will find your tribe and we're not for everyone. I yeah. am not the perfect realtor for every single person in the world. Yeah. Um, but it's funny now that I've kind of leaned into this personal brand over the past five, six years, a lot of my clients are moms with kids, you know, yep. they can relate to my content. Right. And it's just so powerful yeah. what you can build for your family by just being consistent with video and social media. That's super important. Um, you know, I get a lot of real estate agents asking me, should I have a personal account, a business account, or both? Um, I think a lot of realtors are scared to, you know, show their true selves or show their family and their kids and, you know, just worried about they're not, you know, they're not going to drive any like customers through that. But like you said, people will find a commonality and it's that you said it before I heard it in an interview. It's that no like and trust, right. Yes. That you're building. Yeah. Um, so I think that's super important, but what are, what's your take on that? Should they have two accounts, one account? I think it's really important in following the latest trends right now, which is building a personal brand. Yep. The realtor, the lender with the best personal brand yep. wins the business. Yeah. Our team's on track yep. to close a hundred million dollars in real estate this year. And to think wow. that that came from building yep. this brand on social is just incredible. And now we're, we've really kind of gone all into yep. YouTube as well. And you're not going to get the success in, in social by just posting, just sold, just listed yep. house, 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 because People go to Instagram or YouTube yep. to be entertained. They don't want to feel yep. like they're being sold to all the time. So I like to think of it as like, say you're following somebody that sells makeup or a hair yep. product or a car salesman. Yeah. If all they do is post yep. their product, their makeup product, you're going to get turned off by that. You might even unfollow them because you're not yeah. there to just watch commercials yep. all day long. But say that mom who sells makeup lets you in on her daily life yeah. and builds her personal brand. And yep. now, you know, like, and trust her, you feel like, you know, her family and yep. her animals and all that. And then she sprinkles in, Hey, I sell this awesome product. <laughs> you trust her, right? Like, Absolutely. I follow people on Instagram. I follow this lady in Texas. Like she could say, Hey, I love this perfume. Yep. I've never even smelled the perfume. I'll buy it because I trust <laughs> her. I don't even know her, but I know her dog's name is Bruce or, or yep. like, she doesn't know me. I mean, but I know like her dog's name. It, social media is yep. just so powerful. Um, and it takes a lot of work, but I don't cold call. I don't door knock. I just take my time um, investing in that content and being That's active awesome. on the platform. And it's really paid off. So you just have one account, right? Yes. And yeah. that's your business account? Yep. So I, I used to have two back okay. in the day. So I yep. don't, I think it's impossible to successfully run two accounts. I agree. <laughs> nobody wants to follow that business one because it's yep. that nonstop commercial. Yep. So letting people in on your daily life on that one account, I think is just yeah. so powerful. I agree. You know, there was a post on your feed on Instagram and you told a story on how you met your husband mm -hmm. when you were, yeah. I think it was your 18 or 19. And yeah. that was an amazing story. So like reading that story, I was like, wow, maybe I should tell a story how I met mm -hmm. my husband. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want to give all those details or let people in. Mm -hmm. But it was powerful because I was like, oh, it's kind of similar to my story. I think um, it's so important. To, I think so, too. And trust me, every time yeah. I post something like that, I'm like, does anyone really mm -hmm. care, you know, what I'm eating for breakfast or yeah. what my kids are doing? But you're basically, you know, if you're just looking at your Instagram story, you're letting people yep. in on your daily life from when you wake up in the morning till the nighttime. And, you know, each day is yeah. different. And at the end of the day, it's two minutes of your life, little tiny 15 second clips of your day, yep. but you're staying top of mind to everybody that's following you. So my goal with Instagram is when somebody is asked, like, who do you think of when yep. you think of Queen Creek Realtor? I want right. them to say Shannon Gillette, like people, I have this fan club now where yeah. strangers are referring me, you know, their friends right. and family because of social media. And it's so powerful. That is super powerful. I know the power of Instagram. It's everything's changed. Yeah. Um, but that's awesome. So I, I have a lot of people that, um, 
are recent realtors, right? One to two years in the business. And obviously the market has shifted. And I want to know, like, what advice would you have for a new real estate agent in this shifting market? Well, for the new realtors, I think it's so important to find a really solid team. Yep. It's almost impossible to be a solo agent these days. Yep. Um, so finding that team where you can learn and, and grow and, yep. and hopefully be given, you know, some leads and guidance. Yeah. Um, to, I think it's just so important to be on a team. And a lot of people get so caught up on on team splits, right? Even yep. there are some successful solo agents yep. out there. And I'm like, You've got to look at your annual income, not the yep. per closing income, because if you're on a solid team that provides value, yep. you're going to make more per year and you're going to have a better quality of life. That's something I've really been focusing on the past year yep. is we have a full TC team. You know, I've been bringing agents on my team and I can see my family more right. now. You know, I'm yeah. not out showing home seven days a week until Absolutely. nine at night. So quality of life is, is just as huge as, as income too. Awesome. Are you, just in case people ask, are you looking to expand your team? Are you hiring? Well, so we always on our website, we right. always have the join join the team. Okay. You can click it and enter your information. Yeah. We don't actively have like open spots right now, but right. I'd say if somebody, you, you never know that could change yep. overnight, you know, submit your stuff. Yeah. I, if somebody submits a video to me, that, yep. that goes a long way because yeah, we're all absolutely. about video at the Gillette group. <laughs> awesome. Um, going back to trying to balance it all, right? family, life, business. Um, so like we said, you're a successful realtor, you're a mom, a wife, and you run a top real estate team. Do you hire, I've always wondered this, like, do you hire out for like dinners or house cleaning, all that kind of stuff? That's a great question. So one thing I think agents need to look at is what is their hourly rate? And if right. they're doing anything that yep. is below that hourly rate, like cleaning yeah. their own home, doing yep. their own laundry, or recently, just this past year, I hired a VA. I used to get up at yeah. 4 a.m. and put together my own YouTube thumbnails. Like you yeah. have to ask for help right. and not think of it as an expense, but it's yep. an investment because if you have somebody cleaning your house for two hours, you now have two hours to build your business. Right. So yep. it's not going to happen day one though. Like I yeah. had to put in the work years and years and years of work yep. and now I get those benefits. Right. Um, but but that's definitely something important because yep. we can't do it all. No. And I think as moms and, you know, wife, like we, we feel like we need to be doing everything, cooking a great right. meal, plus also building an incredible <laughs> real estate team. I don't cook anything. Yeah. Hardly ever. We don't even <laughs> own. I. It's so funny um, posting on social media because yep. you, you, you're always going to offend somebody. So we yep. only use paper plates in my house because it just saves time on dishes. Absolutely. I, I don't agree. know why we don't even like <laughs> own like. Plates. Plates. I don't know where they went or what. We only have paper plates. So we ran on a paper plates yep. one day and I put it on my Instagram story and I did a poll because you always want people to engage yep. in your story. Do you prefer yeah. paper plates or regular plates? And a lot of people were like paper plates. And yeah. this one realtor is like, that's so wasteful for the environment. I'm like, right. I'm sorry. I'd rather spend time with my family after dinner, Absolutely. like go hang out yeah. in the backyard, throw the football than washing dishes. So right. little things like that. Every so second true. of my day is so important. I have yep. to be so strategic with, yep. with everything because the days are short. Yeah. You know, they go by so fast and I have a lot that I need to get done in yeah. the day. That's so true. I, I totally agree. I went to a Darren Hardy event like years ago. And the one thing I remember him saying is hire a house cleaner. Yeah. Don't try to do it yourself. Yeah. And it's true. Like my house cleaner couldn't come over the other day and it's like, oh my God, I have to clean full, right? Wash, fold yeah. clothes. And it's like, it was like five hours. Um, and you know, I could have called some leads, right? Or followed I know. up. Imagine like in one time. hour. <laughs> yeah. You could have gotten an extra loan yeah. during that time or something. Or spent time with my family. Yeah. And some people yeah. love cleaning their home and that's awesome. I mean, I just don't enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Um, so one of the things I heard you say in an interview is YouTube is the new Instagram and why you don't only post videos on YouTube. Basically, yes. the power of video. Yes. So YouTube is so powerful. I 
didn't really understand it until the past year of like, man, people are calling me almost daily saying yep. things like, I'm on your YouTube channel right now. We live in California. Wow. We're looking to move to Arizona. Yep. Will you help us buy a home? And what I found is, man, people are going to YouTube to yeah. search just like they are on Google. Google. Yep. Like, for example, if my family and I are going to a, on a vacation, like say we're going to Hawaii and we pick the resort we're staying at. I love yeah. going to YouTube and like yep. watching all the the videos on the resort or like what to do yep. in that area. And that's what buyers and sellers are doing when it's time to make a move. They're researching neighborhoods right. and things yep. like that. So um, I have a VA that really runs my YouTube channel and she tags my videos to come up in searches. So for Got example, it. I mean, I, I sold a $1.4 million home because I tagged one of my videos, best realtor in Chandler, Arizona. And this guy, this guy called me and he's like, hey, I'm actually yep. about to sign listing paperwork with another realtor but I went I went online and, yep. and I found your YouTube and I go I'm just curious what'd you type in because I'm so I just love to know right and he goes oh I typed in best realtor in Chandler and your video <laughs> came up I'm like, that's so awesome so YouTube is so powerful but yep. you have to get the content out there Right. And I think a lot of realtors you use YouTube if they're doing it well it's like a, just a lot of listing videos yep. which is important but this year, I've really been trying to incorporate more into yep. my YouTube. So lifestyle videos, if somebody's searching what to do with my kids, like I brought my kids on YouTube where they're okay. showing their favorite trampoline park yep. or this rock climbing place or best restaurants, yep. you know, learning about the lifestyle of the community and the neighborhoods that we sell in. And then yep. also, I love this studio um, called yeah. Be Real. I don't know if you've ever heard about it, but you I can sure go have. There <laughs> and you can submit your scripts in advance. Yes. And I've been going twice a month and not yep. only getting real content, like right. filming reels, but I just ask myself, what do my clients ask me? I'm just going to make a video on it. Like yep. I have a video for every step of the way. For example, congratulations, your home's under contract. Right. Watch this video for the next yep. steps. It has been a game changer in not only my client experience, but just I always want to set the right expectations. Yep. And we sell homes every day, but our clients may only sell two homes in their whole lifetime. Yep. So they love these videos. So using your YouTube to not just have listing videos, but yep. expanding out to where you're being found by people searching, right. you're providing a great experience for your clients. And you're also even helping support small business Absolutely. by sharing the local restaurant in your yep. town and things. So it's I been, love that. It's been huge. I use Be Real as well. I mean, <laughs> best in that game. <laughs> Been about over a year. Awesome, awesome. I mean, that, yeah, that literally changed my business. Um, so are you, a lot of other questions I get is like, how do you do it all, right? Are you batching your videos? Are you going once a week, twice a month? What does that look like for you? I think a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners struggle yep. with their calendar and yep. their schedule because yep. we do have freedom. So if you wanted to sleep in or just watch TV all day, you yep. could, and nobody's really going to care, yep. right? So first is hiring a coach yep. to be to have somebody to hold you accountable. accountable so yeah. I hired a coach through Tom Ferry. I was a huge yep. skeptic on coaching, but it's been a life life changing for me yep. to have that coach that is you know, I have to report to every week, almost yep. like she's my boss. Yeah. And that's been a game changer. And then just being so intentional with your yep. schedule and putting that on your calendar, like yep. twice a month, I go into the studio and I film the content and, um, I, I write out my scripts the day before. So yep. I get there and it's organized. I know what I'm going to say and you just have to do it right. Right. And just stop the yeah. excuses. Because a young realtor just starting out today yep. could kill it with reels right now. Yeah. Like literally in a year could be making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of Instagram reels. There are so many ways to be successful in real yeah. estate. You just have to pick two or three and just go all in and be consistent and don't give up. Right. And the key to that is I think a lot of realtors, let's say they're like, I'm going all in on cold calling yeah. and calls yep. and follow up. They go all in for a few weeks or maybe a few months, they start to see results. Now they're busy in work, yep. right? They're showing homes every day. And guess what they stop doing? Lead Making the calls. Yep. So it's a roller coaster yeah. of very busy, slow, very busy, <laughs> slow. So you have to have a plan in place. If you're saying, yep. hey, I'm going to go all in with reels. What's your plan to stay consistent even when you're busy? Yep. I am very busy. I sold six houses yesterday. Do That's you think amazing. I have time? I filmed content today yep. for reels. Do I have time right. to film reels? Probably yep. not. I could have many excuses of why I can't, but 
I have to be consistent with my content or yeah. else another realtor is going to take over, right? Like right. you have to be top of feed, top of mind yep. and put in the time and the work. Right. I love that. So <clears throat> what I'm hearing you say is anyone's capable of this, right? Yeah. I think it's a choice. Every day you wake up, right? Are you going to press snooze? Are you going to, you know, yeah. wake up at 5 a.m. or are you going to wake up at 8 a.m.? Yeah. So there's a choice you make every day and those choices can lead to your success or yeah. if you're not having success you got to look in the mirror right and decide like am I going to make that change in my life mm -hmm. um do you do any sort of journaling or meditating mm -hmm. anything like that well so my faith's really important to me I'm very involved yeah. in our church we go to Rock Point Church in Queen Creek and and I have non-negotiables on yep. my calendar I'm in a mom's group at my church I actually help run the mom's group since my kids were babies, I've yeah. always been a part of a mom's wow. group. That gives me time to get out yep. of real estate and just go talk with moms for like two hours. That's a game changer. Yeah. Going to church, like the, those things, non-negotiables, right? Because yep. real estate is a seven day a week job and yeah. it'll take over your life yep. if you let it. And you have to have an intentional calendar and things like your hobbies or whatever you enjoy to get out of yep. real estate for a few hours because it is also a draining career and yes. you will get so burnt out yep. and 87% of realtors fail within the first five years. Yeah. It's a tough industry. It's stressful. I mean, you've got to, you've got to have that life outside of real estate too. Yep. And, and that's content too. If you yep. go on a date with your husband, film a little Instagram story, you know, yep. behind the scenes. And yeah. And your husband's okay with that. Um, and he, <laughs> it took him a while to be okay with it. He's like, why do you always have to put everything on Instagram? But now he sees, oh, that person just Absolutely. called you from Instagram. Yeah, okay. you got a listing. So he's or a buyer. fan now, yeah. So now he's like, yep. Phil, put this on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> he's your biggest cheerleader, sounds yeah, like. Yeah, no, he That's is amazing. amazing. I think having an, a supportive Absolutely. spouse, yep. whether you're in the lending industry or real estate industry, is so important because it is. I don't I don't think I could be married to yep. myself. Like, <laughs> I mean, the, the hours are long. Like, right. knowing that he is, like, there yep. to take care of the kids and everything. Yeah. Because I mean, I, you never know where I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I can definitely relate. Um, so I just want to go back really quick to social media. Are you repurposing any of your videos? Like I know you do Instagram, some YouTube. Do you repurpose that like on Facebook or TikTok or LinkedIn? Yeah. So right now, I, I really focus on YouTube, Instagram. Okay. I put a few things on TikTok. Right. They get like two or 300 views. And I need to take my own advice where it's like, don't right. worry about how many people view, yep. see it. Just keep posting. Just keep posting. So yep. that's one thing I want. Um, my VA has been kind of running my LinkedIn as well. Um, okay. My Facebook business page, when I have a listing, I do put the video over there um, because I, I can boosted or whatever. But yeah, uh, I mean, the video thing scares a lot of yeah. people. And that's I mean, I think I get more questions on that than anything. Like I'm yeah. so scared to get in front of the camera and all of that. But yeah. really, everything I've talked about in today's interview comes back to the fact that I took a chance on video yeah. and I get my right. face on video as much as I can, whether it's a listing, I will always be introducing the home on film, whether it's my Instagram story, whether it's my feed or whatever, you'll see my face and yep. that helps people know, like, and trust you. It's your and brand. Yep. Yeah. Your personal brand. We're all in sales. We all talk to people. Yeah. You really just have to talk to the camera. Like you're talking to a client and it's not going to be easy the first time. Yep. It's not, you know, it may take years to feel comfortable in front of the camera, but that's really yeah. the ultimate takeaway, I think, is like people just need to get in front yeah, of the camera. Absolutely. 100%. Um, are you doing any type of Google ads, YouTube ads, pay-per-click ads? Yeah. So we you do, are. Okay. We, we do do Google ads. Okay. Like we are boosting like the YouTube videos, getting okay. those in front of strategic audiences, yep. especially for our listing marketing. So okay. we really specialize. Like if, if a seller lists their home with us, right. their YouTube video could get 20,000 views. Holy we're smokes. literally selling our yeah. listings because people were scrolling through Facebook or Instagram and right. saw our professional yep. video commercial of our listing and bought the home. So it's so powerful. Yeah. And I think more than ever right now, sellers really are being particular with who their listing agent is. Absolutely. Because those homes are not selling in an yep. hour. So realtors, you know, we're giving them a lot of things that they need to do, but yep. they not only need to be 
present on social media, yep. get in front of the camera, film content, but they also need to have a very good marketing plan for their listing. Right. The days are gone where you can take pictures, put a sign in the yard and throw your listing up on MLS yep. and just expect for it to sell. Yeah. That's not enough for sellers anymore. No, not at all. Are you putting the, are you doing like a listing website for that particular Yes. So you property? always have to have a call to action. Okay. And that's another thing I don't understand in the real estate community. Why aren't realtors, yep. why don't they have a, a professional website for every home they list or some type of landing page? They're literally right. sharing the MLS link or the yep. Zillow link. We want our clients to go back to our oh. website, right? So every home we list has its own website with domain name. We use RelaHQ.com for that. Okay. Sellers are so impressed. They're sharing it on their social media pages. And then we also have our own home searching app too. Um, so, I mean, if anyone's listening and they want to get their own app, definitely yep. reach out to me because... You don't want your clients going to Zillow and Realtor.com to right. search for a home. I tell clients they're 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 in the business of selling a product and it's not homes, it's you. They're selling your right. information yep. and it might not be accurate information. So we've got our own home searching app. Um, we've also invested in just an incredible website. Our website has won many wow. industry awards. Yep. Um, so it's all about yep. personal brand and just really making everything as good as it can be, right? Yep, absolutely. Um, so thank you for that. So Shannon, my last question, just to wrap it up, what is one thing that you're going to do in the next six months to take your business to the next level? That is a great question. <laughs> so maybe something you've been wanting to do, man, I think, so I just went to the Tom Ferry summit okay. in Dallas and tons of takeaways. I think it's so important. I, t I took my whole team. I think it's so important yep. to get out and go to those conferences yes. and learn. And one thing I think, because I'm putting all that content out there, one mark I've missed is I don't have yep. a blog. Like taking that YouTube video, say yeah. it's of the best restaurants in town, right. and putting that into a blog for yep. SEO and all that. I mean, that's yep. one thing that I really want to do. So then when people are searching, not only do they find you know us on YouTube, but also through the blogging. So that's yep. one thing I think could really be a game changer and just can continuing to be very consistent with Instagram reels is yeah, huge. I know. Like you, anybody can be <laughs> successful with this. Like you could get a hundred thousand views on a reel. It's just right. crazy. So, and it's um, free. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so just really upping our video game too, yep. because uh, when I started video, I was, I was one of the first agents that I knew of that yep. was actually on the listing videos. And, um, everyone's doing video now a lot of yep. people are so you gotta just continue to be the best at yeah it. you gotta jump on the bandwagon right yes <laughs> yeah awesome well thank you so much shannon thank for joining you. me today um so if anybody wants to reach out to your house questions where where can they find so you i answer every single dm i get on instagram i love so that follow me over on instagram at shannon underscore gillette awesome well thank you so much thank you so much <laughs>